One day, Anthony went to work. Suit and tie, three-piece suit, shoes freshly shined, full of hopes and dreams. Oh, Anthony, silly chap, did you forget to take your pills again? That's a boy. Ruffle through your pockets; they must be somewhere. Whatever shall your boss say should you be late again? Sure. She never knew you had to breathe into a paper bag for ten minutes behind the dumpsters in the parking lot. But then again, would you expect her to understand? Didn't think so. Your hands are shaking, Anthony. Don't you hide them in your blazer pockets? They are clammy and cold, and you know what that means. Yeah, you know what that means. Is that a hitch in your breath? Did your heart skip a beat? Better not listen to your heartbeat. Is it regular? Is this how hearts are supposed to beat? Tip tap, pit pat. Stop. Wait. Stop. Slow breaths. Yes, that's what they tell you. Slow, slow, slow. At a boy. Well, now what? A quarter to seven. Your bus is here. Mask on. There you go. Not packed at all. I mean, there's a little space in between this buff, just slightly aggressive-looking person over there, and that granny casting you only mildly disgusted stares. Quite a deal, really. Good thing you left your bunny face mask at home this time. A butch fantasy. A businessman. Mask as they come, sandwiched between two people who still manage to sniff you out on the spot. The other, not like the rest. You can feel them recoil from coming too close to you, even on a packed bus like this. Close your eyes, breathe. Yeah, I know. This face mask doesn't help when you're about to hyperventilate. Hyperventilate? Did 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 I say that? No, you must have imagined that. Your breathing's regular. You're like so inconspicuous. You totally pull this off. The whole being a human act. You're not acting. <laughs> you sure about this? Are you really sure about this? I mean, give it some thought for a change. Just for once, you pathetic. <laughs> I mean, Anthony, how can you ever be sure that your emotions are authentic? Maybe you just assume a role corresponding to who you're around. Maybe your actions can never be actions, forever restricted to reactions. I mean, it'll be just like you. Again, no originality, just the canvas eavesdroppers might project themselves onto. Oh, <laughs> apologies. Did I mention them again? Silly me. No, Anthony. No one's listening in on your thoughts. In here, it's just you and me. That is you, consequentially, or me. But only if you let me, and you'd be very ill-advised, my boy, to let me. Sure, open your eyes again if that puts you under the impression that you're fine. Shut me out. The threatening presence towering over you in the shape of your fellow commuter here is not worthy of my comment, anyways. I know your fight or flight, and darling, it's a sensitive sucker. I know you can make a good run for it, and if that's the only thing you're good at, is he staring at you? Nonsense! That's in your head. As it were. So am I. You're paranoid. I keep telling you this. Go see a doctor for your paranoia. How many times have you heard that sentence from me? Precisely. And have you done it yet? 
No. Is anyone surprised by this? No. You're a failure. A goddamn waste of space. Oh, you say you weren't gonna be so hard on yourself anymore? Well, tough luck. Wait, weren't you supposed to get off at the last stop? There, you've done it again, you twat. Even the buff guy next to you has noticed. Come to think of it. He has been staring you down these past fifteen minutes. Staring and clenching and unclenching his fists. Can you hear his breathing? Shallow. Sweat glistening on his forehead. What's he gonna do to you, Anthony? What's it gonna be this time? A kick in the gut? Spit in your face? Words hurled like missiles, only to launch themselves resolutely in your heart, your mind, never leaving. Not at night, nor when you're awake, playing over and over the cruelest symphony bespoke to make you suffer. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna do to you? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna- Wait! Where are you going? Where do you think you're running to? Do you think you can outrun him? With these shoes? <laughs> no chance. The people on the street are staring, too. They see you, the fear in your eyes. They know you. Piercing glances right to your core. They know where you're going, where you're coming from. Why is he in such a hurry? Does he really believe he can get away? They whisper. Outrun this. Outrun himself? Yes, better look behind you. Don't stop running. You can't afford to. Heavy footsteps are closing in on you. Thud. 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 Can you hear him drawing nearer? What's it gonna be this time? What's it gonna do to you? Round that street corner. Into safety. What's it gonna be, Anthony? Oh, a dead end? I misled you. You misled yourself. Safety. <laughs> you really believe that? You know that was never in the cards for you. Pathetic. Weak. So you're out of breath? Well, he isn't. Don't trip. Watch out. You don't want to get run over. A broken rib, or a fractured skull. The concrete beneath your soles are chilling your slowly cooling cheek. There are worms beneath, Anthony. Worms and peace. Over there, a light green shimmer perforates the fog, clouding your vision. How do you get there? Long gone are the bystanders, the silent judgments, the malicious grins. These streets are empty. Onwards, towards the branches reaching for the blue skies, like roots turned upside down. A refuge, a safe place, a... What was that? Faster, you're nearly there. You can't see him? Well, I know he's close behind you. You know. Are you being watched? Who's behind that tree? What's rustling in that corner? Oxygen. You need oxygen. Take a breath. Can you hear that? Beyond the static. The wind. The faint rumble of traffic. Silence. Your heart is pumping frantically. Is this how hearts are supposed to... Yes. Let me just stop you right there. Have a seat. You got this. Slow. Look around. Shades of yellow, brown, green, crunching leaves beneath your feet. They serve their purpose. And this eternal cycle of coming and going 
giving, taking. They have arrived, as have you.